overcome challenges, and says that we're all in it together. And when I think about the contributions that all of you have made, that, I'm, that makes me confident. Those of us who have been most blessed by this nation, we are ready to give back. But we've got to be asked. And that's what I'm hoping members of Congress recognize. I don't want a small, cramped vision of what America can be. We want a big and generous vision of what America can be. And the world is inspired when we have that vision. And by the way, that vision is not a Democratic vision or a Republican idea. These are not ideas that belong to one political party or another. They are the things a rising nation does, and the thing that retreating nations don't do. And we are not a retreating nation. So despite the many challenges we face right now, I believe America must continue to be a rising nation with rising portions. And that, makes, that means making sure that everybody's participating and everybody's getting a shot. Because when all of our people do well, America does well. And America, when America does well, that's good for the rest of the world. That's what President Clinton has always understood. So, Mr. President, thank you for all the opportunities that you help to create every day. Thank you to all of you who are participating in CGI. You are doing the Lord's work. And I can assure you that you will continue to have a partner in the Obama administration for what I expect to be years to come. to announce and we'll get on with the program. First, I'd like to invite to the stage Her Royal Highness Princess Gita Talal of Jordan. She is uh, the chairperson of the Board of Trustees of the King Hussein Cancer Foundation. And uh, she has an announcement to make and partners to introduce. And then I'd like to say a little word in support of what she is doing in memory of her father, who was one of the greatest people I ever knew. I would now like to invite to the stage Magda Iskander of Care with Love, Russell Deo of Johnson & Johnson, Dr. John Noseworthy of the Mayo Clinic, Dr. John Setrin of the American Cancer Society, Dr. Regina Benjamin, the Surgeon General of the United States, a Boji Agimokwebe. These are the challenges we are facing. Cancer, heart disease, lung diseases, diabetes. Spoken indiv individually, each one of those words is enough to send instant shivers down our spines and wreak havoc into our lives. Together, they claim the lives of 36 million people annually all over the world. Hiding under the seemingly innocuous name of non-communicable diseases, these four plagues, formerly close companions of the developed world, 
have chosen to migrate in full force to a highly vulnerable developing world, a world that is totally ill-equipped to deal with NCDs. We need to start the fight against the scourge of NCDs right now. We do not have a minute to waste. Too much time has already been lost. Too many lives, too many people have died. Too many families have been destroyed. Too many communities have been decimated. The good news is that NCDs share common risk factors that can be prevented. One sure way to strike a blow at NCDs is to eliminate the most lethal risk factor, which is tobacco use. It is estimated that tobacco use will kill one billion people this century. I'm thrilled to recognize six remarkable individuals who will be translating their pledges into effective actions, which is what the Clinton Global Initiative is all about. Through CGI, a group of public and private sector partners commit to launch the Global Smoke-Free Worksite Challenge by pledging to make their workplaces around the world completely smoke-free. This program will institute aggressive anti-tobacco policies in regions where smoking is dangerously on the rise and of course has the potential to make workplaces healthier for millions of employees. The second commitment successfully fights non-communicable diseases literally with love and tenderness. Care with Love will establish a home and health center in Cairo, Egypt, where rural children with cancer and their families can live while they are in the city undergoing treatment. During, the, the, during their stay, these families will be given nutritious meals, medication, and health education necessary to combat their disease. Your work is commendable, and we hope that thousands around the world will emulate you. I will now present you with a certificate.